What's up guys, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to optimize the brand new Wooting 60HE V2. In my opinion, this is one of the best keyboards on the market right now. I don't wanna waste any of your guys' time. Let's go ahead and get right into the video. The first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to your preferred browser. So what you're gonna to wanna to do when you open up your browser is just type in Wutility, press enter. You're gonna see a website called Wutility Web. This is the one we're looking for, so click into this. Once it's loaded up, you can click X or continue out of any prompts that come up. And then what we're gonna do is click initialize the device. Once you get to this screen, you're gonna to have to click allow the browser, then find your new Wooting 60HE v2 click on this and then click connect that's going to sync your keyboard to the utility program on the web once it says it's ready just click done and then you'll be met with a screen like this this software is what we're going to be using to actually optimize the keyboard the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're on the keyboard tab and then make sure you're on quick settings then what you're going to do is just left click and hold on your mouse and select all the keys just like this you can also click select all keys on this button right here once you've done that you're going to want to turn your actuation point all the way down if you are okay with it being that sensitive the value you set here is the amount of millimeters you have to press down on on the switch for it to then activate that press. So you can set it to 0.1 millimeter. This is gonna be the most sensitive. Click save to keyboard, then go to a browser, just kind of type and test that out. See if you like the feel of it or use the keys that you most use in your favorite game. If it's a little too sensitive, then just move it down. However, if you do want a keyboard that feels super responsive, super quick, I wouldn't recommend going above 0.3. For me, I'm just gonna leave it on 0.1. The next thing we're gonna to wanna to do, make sure all the keys are still all highlighted. Then we're gonna enable the rapid trigger. I personally think the 0.4 millimeter sensitivity for this is perfect. If you guys want it even more sensitive you can crank it up however for 99 percent of people this is going to feel perfect for all of you guys the next thing we're going to want to do is enable this this is basically just the low input delay mode as you can see right here it says maximizes input speed by prioritizing key press response it is going to reduce the keyboard brightness and disable the custom rgb effects this setting here is going to ensure your keyboard is running at the lowest latency possible which is taking advantage of the 8000 pulling rate the 60he v2 has so go ahead and enable this too you'll see a little checkbox here that says true 8k pulling active if you don't see this checkbox here it means your 8k pulling is not active and the most likely reason for this is you're not using the cable that was provided with your keyboard. If you don't see this, go ahead and swap out your cable with the cable that Wooting sent you. And then this will pop up once you activate this. Once you're done with this, click save to keyboard. These settings will be applied now. I would like to mention that Wooting has onboard memory. So if you unplug your keyboard, use it on a work laptop or a different computer or just a different setup or whatever, all of these settings will still be saved. So you don't have to reset it up every time you unplug and replug it or use it on a different computer or anything like that. These settings will be saved indefinitely unless you come in here and revert them. If you go to my profiles, you can save everything we just did to a profile i just leave it on default one you go to actuation point here you kind of want to see if you're bottoming out your keys you can just kind of type or pretend like you're gaming here and it'll tell you how far you're pressing your keys and then you can set a custom actuation point for what's good for your gameplay and how you press on the keys the last thing i'd recommend doing is go to remap click fn layer and then this is going to be what your keyboard keys are doing while you're holding the fn key in the bottom right here by default these arrow keys are going to be down here or we kind of depend on where you put them during the setup if it prompted you i would recommend just coming here and dragging the arrow keys here a lot of you guys maybe coming from an apex pro like myself and this is kind of how the apex had it set up that way you can use the arrow keys of course this is more preference so feel free to set your fn layer to what you prefer after you click save the keyboard you guys are good to go your new wooden keyboard is fully optimized ready to go let me know what you guys think of the keyboard down below if you guys have any questions let me know check out my other videos i have tons of optimization videos on my channel already subscribe and like the video if this helped you out and I hope you guys have a great rest of your day peace